Al-Qaeda or other extremist groups could gain a foothold in this region? I think that each of those three countries have, are managing their affairs, their internal affairs, in a way that makes that a, a, a extremely low possibility. I, there are so many parts of the world where there are large ungoverned spaces, uh, where the governments uh, have not taken the kinds of steps that we've seen in these countries to um, work with the people and to recognize the importance of, of certainly to be sure uh, security activity but equally important political progress and economic progress and, and bringing all of the dimensions of society together in a way that that creates an environment that's inhospitable to terrorism and uh, I think each of these three countries uh, certainly stand out as examples of, of countries where they've taken a lot of steps to, to show that, uh, that they can live at peace and, and, uh, and, and successfully deal with the problem of extremism. What about Mr. Mr. Secretary, how do, you, how do you respond to critics who say that? Oh, that is a beautiful book. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a treasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so very we've much. Come, we've come. Thank you.